For the first time since sandbags were set up along the shoreline in the beaches, water has breached them. We know that the boathouse on Silver Birch Avenue was completely flooded this morning and the city worked around the clock to pump the water out. They've done a great job of getting it out, but still residents are disappointed that this keeps happening. I just couldn't get into the boathouse today because of the water. They're not allowing us in. I had gotten in before when I got the locker and I could see the damage to the boat from the flooding. What kind of damage were you seeing? I guess there's a hole in the keel and so the water's come up into the boat and you can see all of the water stain on the inside of the boat. So the rotting is bad. This is the worst, first time I've ever got wet feet standing here. So. This is the most you've ever seen right now? Yeah, yeah. I grew up in England, so you go to this, this is the seaside, right? Like, it's, yeah. it's always that. But. It feels like it, we're looking at an ocean, not a lake right Yeah, now. absolutely, yeah. yeah. But just judging by what you see everywhere that's happening with climate change, everything's getting more intense, so this is just our little view of it. Well, I think climate change, uh, you know, we are seeing increasingly frequent uh, weather events, the severity, um, rains, it's been a very rainy spring. So this is something, we're a waterfront community here in the beaches, and this is something that we have to deal with. It's not uh, new to the residents, and I think it's an opportunity for us to come together as neighbours and take some action and, uh, and try and protect the shoreline. You can see planks have already started to collapse as water flows beneath the boardwalk. And this is the situation right along the shoreline here in the beaches. So the city is monitoring it closely and reminding the public to be cautious in the area.